One line, however, led to the monodactyl, a one-toed ungulate called Pliohippus. As a grandfather of the modern horse, Pliohippus appears to be the source of the latest radiation in the horse family. It is believed to have given rise to the genera that thrived for a time in South America and then led to Dinohippus, which in turn led to modern horse, Equus. Pliohippus had a couple of depressions or fossae in the bones in front of its eyes. Equus does not. The fossae in the face of Dinohippus are shallow, suggesting that it is an intermediate from between Pliohippus and Equus. Equus has a distinctive passive stay apparatus formed by bones and tendons to help it conserve energy while standing for long periods. 